Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Nathan, and today I will be teaching you how to make a card by yourself at home. Before we begin, I would like to introduce some tools that we'll be using. So we'll be using two types of hand drill. One with a bigger head, and then with a smaller one. Next, this is some sea clips, sandpapers, wire sharpers, diagonal wire, needle nose wire, some screwdrivers, round cutters, electrical tape, nano magical tape, foam tape, glue gun. First, you take the outer part of your gearbox and put the small stick in here. Next, there are um, three types of the gears. So this is the smallest one, and this is the bigger one with only one side, and this is the bigger one with two sides. So we'll take the smaller one and put it in here. Next, we will take the two-sided gear and put the hex shaft into it. and put it in this hole next you take the um, longer hex shaft and take the one side of the gear and put it into the hex shaft like this after that you put it in this hole beside the two sided gear and you take the yellow um, part of the outer gear and cover it up like this Okay, so there are um, three places that we will have to screw screws into it. So the first one is here, and the second one here, and the latest one on top of the mortar. So we will screw the, these two first. After screwing the two screws, we'll be putting the mortar in before screwing the screw on top of the mortar. So this is us, the white gear. We then put it inside the mortar. And put it in here. Next, we'll be screwing our lattice screw. So this, the lattice screw is on top of the mortar. So next, I'll be teaching you how to um, cut the wheels and the base of the car. So we will just do uh, about um, 8 centimeters. So we will draw a line here. Draw a line here too. Take a ruler and draw a line. But always make sure that the width of the car is always shorter than the length of the place where we would pull up wheels. And it is also longer than the length of the two gearboxes. Start to cut down the place where you want. So next, I'm going to teach you how to um, draw the wood. Now you're going to put it about 45 degrees. Don't put it like um, 90 degrees or else it will be very hard to saw it. Now I'm, I will show you how to saw it. Okay, so for the next part, I'll be teaching you how to cut the wheels. Uh, this is a round cutter. So from here to here is um, 3.5. So this is the radius of our um, wheel. And so uh, the uh, diameter of our, uh, our wheel is 7 centimeters. So you have to take your finger and uh, measure here from here and make sure that it is uh, 3.5. Or so you can use a ruler on top of here. And here's, uh, and seven, so you have a diameter of the circle will be seven. So you can draw a spot on the MDF board. So this will be the center of the circle. And next, we're going to drill a hole into it. Okay, so we can take the drill and drill it like this. Okay, so we'll do pocket 
clock twice. Counterclockwise to take. So next we're going to stick the horns on top of the wheel and then connect it to the gearbox. So now that we have finished assembling the four wheels, we'll now start to assemble the whole thing. These are the four wheels that I cut it before. This is the two gearboxes. What you're going to do next is you either stick the gearboxes on top of it or you drop four dots and then drill holes in it. So use the um, glue gun to stick the Four, four holes in here so that it can be stable. Okay, so now I use the glue gun to stick the both of the gear boxes on top of the base of the car. So I'll be assembling it. Next, we're going to put the battery and put it on top in the middle of the whole board. So I'll be putting it here. I'll be using the foam tape. Next, we're going to connect the lines to the mortar. Now well, let's see if it works. So as you can see, this is my front wheel. So the wheels are moving the side. So it's on the wrong direction. So we will have to change the, the lines. So now the direction of the wheel is correct. So now we'll see we'll if it works. This is a track that I'll be using today. And so when you start, you can just push the, the switch on the battery case. Okay, so this is a car that I made today and hope that you like the video. And if you have any questions, you can comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.